Platform 17 at Grunewald Station. For many, it was the last sight of Berlin before they travelled to their deaths. More than 1,000 Jews were deported from here, exactly 80 years ago. Historian Julius Schöp's own grandparents were also deported from Berlin. They arrived, they were jammed into the carriages, and then the train left. And the people had no idea what would happen to them. From here, the passengers were taken to an overcrowded ghetto in the Polish city of Łódź, where many people died. It was the beginning of the Nazis' deportations of Jews out of Berlin. Later, they'd be taken from all over Nazi-controlled territory directly to the death camps. Platform 17 is now a memorial, a reminder of the atrocities and a warning, never again. Germany has a strong culture of remembrance for its Nazi past. When I'm walking around town, I always notice the memorials like this one, and I think it helps to preserve the memories. Latent and open anti-Semitism is back again. Jews are being attacked. But we have to stop it. We have to fight against it. And the best way to do that is to remember the past. The Nazis' racism is still a big topic for us because we see so many people being ostracized these days as well. But my friends and I don't focus so much on the past, more on what's happening now. Historian Julius Schubs is determined to keep stories like his family's alive. And he's excited about a new way to do that. He's part of a project to build a student housing block here, close to the memorial at Platform 17. We're really hoping that we can bring together students from different disciplines, who can look at the deportations from different perspectives and think about what commemoration should look like going forward. This place is not just a chapter from the past. Sites like Platform 17 are important for Germany's future, too.